Hey, this is Ben from Harrison Consoles. Today I'm going to demonstrate a new feature that we've added in Mixbus version 4.1. This feature is called VCA faders, and a VCA is a mixer strip that uh, appears in the mixer and can be attached to the fader or mute and solo of any other channel or bus in the mixer. And that allows you to quickly balance the elements of your mix by moving some convenient faders that are next to each other. So let's just quickly look at the mix we're working with. This is a uh, simple rock and roll, uh, kind of a reggae thing. And this mix is made up of uh, some drum channels that are all assigned to my drum bus. Uh, bass, guitars, the reverb sends, and our delays. So I'm using the spill feature on the mix buses. Our VCAs also have a spill feature, and we'll talk about that. So the first step is to add a VCA. So I'm clicking in the main track menu and pulling up our regular add track bus VCA dialog. And I'm going to add three VCA master buses, or excuse me, three VCA masters. And when I do that, you see that the VCAs appear on the right side of the mixer. And now we're going to attach those faders to the channels that we want to control. So there are several different ways to do that. Uh, the most straightforward way probably is to switch the channel to show the input and output controls. And there's a VCA button. And from there, I can assign to any of my VCAs 1, 2, and 3 for that channel. Now one of the really cool features about Mixbus's VCA implementation is that you can assign a channel to multiple VCAs. So this channel is part of both VCA1. It's controlled by VCA1 and VCA2. So I'm going to clear that out for now. I'm going to click on it and choose Unassign All. Now you can also do some other things. Uh, for example, I have a drum group here. And I can right click on the drum group and tell it to be assigned to VCA1. And you notice when I did that, the switcher has a little indicator, a yellow indicator that says VCA up at the top. And now when I move this VCA, you see that I'm also moving all of the drum faders simultaneously. And once I've attached the VCA, I can mute and solo. Let's uh, try that out real quickly. OK, so there's the drums. I've muted the drums. Now I've soloed the drums. And you'll notice that when I assign the drums using the group method, it automatically gave an, a name to the drum VCA. OK, but now I'm going to do something a little more interesting. I'm going to add, uh, we're going to add the bass guitar. So I've got two channels selected, my two bass guitar channels. And I'm going to right click on my second VCA and choose Assign Selected Channel. So now I have my, my bass under this VCA. But I would also like to assign the drums. So I'm going to shift click to select all my drum channels and then right click here on the VCA and assign those channels. So now I have the drums and the bass assigned to the VCA. And what allows that to work is that the drum channels can be part of both the drum group and this second VCA. So I'm going to rename that one and I'll call it rhythm. We'll call that my rhythm section. It's drums and bass. And now I'm going to make an additional uh, group for my electric guitars. So that's that channel and this one over here. Right click on my VCA, rename it to guitar. So now I have three VCAs. I have a guitar VCA, a rhythm section VCA, and a drum section VCA. Now, one of the really important features of Mixbus's VCA implementation is that assigning a VCA to a channel doesn't change what you hear. So in other words, if I have this VCA pulled down a little bit, and then I add the keyboards to it, you won't hear the level of the keyboards get quieter, because just adding or removing a VCA shouldn't affect the, s the sound that you hear. That's going to get really important with automation. So let's go visit the editor window and look at the automation. So if you scroll down, you see my newly added VCA channels. I've got one for drums, one for rhythm, one for guitar. And I'm going to write some automation in, uh, put it in touch. I can 
write automation using the mixer just as well. I can use the mixer or the editor. So there's my automation move. Now, if we look at the snare drum, the snare doesn't have any automation written for it. So if I look at the fader automation, there is no automation there. But when we play back the snare, we hear it getting quieter as it rolls through the VCA. So we heard the snare get quieter as it rolled through the, the automation of the VCA, but there's no automation on the actual snare track. So what does that mean? Well, if we have the rule that attaching and detaching VCAs shouldn't change the sound, then that has to apply in automation as well. So um, if I go and I choose the VCA channel and I remove it from VCA1, you'll see that the VCA move has been applied to my snare automation. So now I'll still hear that VCA change on the snare, and now I can write different automation on the snare, but I've picked up the changes that already came from the VCA. So I've made my rough cut mixes with the VCA maybe, and now I want to go back and uh, tweak a few things in the snare automation track. Now you might ask what happens if I reassign the VCA back to, or reassign the snare back to the VCA. Well, we will apply the automation of the VCA to the snare. You'll see that appear in the track. Um, so that, that, that sort of breaks our rule, that it will change the sound of the snare when you reassign it, because the automation will appear there. Uh, we think you'll find that in practice, that works in most workflows that you would want to, that it works fine. So I think you'll see that we have a very complete VCA implementation. Uh, we have some features that very few other systems have. We have the ability to attach multiple VCAs to a channel. We have the ability to attach a channel to multiple VCAs. And then we also have a really great implementation that allows you to attach channels without changing what you hear. And it even applies when you have automation written on the VCA. It will, uh, it will apply that VCA automation when you detach the channel. So I'm just going to return to my mix and make a few VCA moves. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I hope that you'll try out the VCA feature, and hope that it helps you make better mixes.